A very good morning. Thank you for keeping it here on NBS Television. This is The Breakfast Meeting. I am Jackie Mutasi. We are in the month of October where so many things are happening, especially for us as Ugandans. This is the month to celebrate our cultures, our the things that unite us, and our independence, most especially on the 9th of October. But something else is being celebrated this month of October, and that is the International Day of the Girl Child. This is coming up on the 11th of this month. But while we celebrate or want to celebrate that, we want to look at the statistics or the information surrounding women and the girl child here in Uganda. When it comes to young women here in Uganda, majority of Ugandans under the age of 18, actually 21%, are having an issue of getting pregnant. There is high teenage pregnancies prevalent in many regions of Uganda, especially the Busoga region. There are so many maternal deaths as a cause of that, as a result of that. And this is something that the Rotary Club of Muyenga wanted to, Muyenga Tank Hill wanted to address. And they are doing this in a fun and exciting way that you can contribute and take part in. This isn't a fun dance, but I will not spoil all the fun for you. I'll ask my guests to have a, to have a talk about this. Joining me this morning is Dr. David Balondemu. He is a change maker president. A very good morning to you, Dr. David. Good morning. Lovely to have you in studio. Thank you. Also joining us is the district governor nominee, Ms. Christine Cheyunikawoya. Lovely to have you as well. Thank you. Good morning, our viewers. Good morning, Chaffee. Thank you very much. I want to start with you, Ms. Christine. To a layman, what is Rotary Club all about? Thank you, Jackie. This is Rotary. Not a Rotary Club, but Rotary, the organization. Rotary is the biggest service organization in the world, and we're there to do good. We promote service to others, and our motto is service above self. For a Rotarian, you have to be able to have that kind of integrity you have to be ready to promote peace, goodwill, and understanding. And as we go out to the communities, we make sure we address the needs that, are com that exist in our community. So as a Rotarian, you promote goodwill and serve above yourself. You promote goodwill and service above yourself. Now yes. this year's theme for Rotary is creating hope. Can you talk to us a little bit about what you're doing as Rotary to, pro to create hope in Ugandans, especially in young girls? The theme Create Hope, and the Rotary International President, Gordon McKinley, has emphasized this because we want to be able to break the barriers. There's a lot of conflict. People are desperate. Not only the wars that are happening, but even after COVID, many people are desperate. They don't know what to do. So as Rotary, we come in with a theme every year, and this theme addresses the topical needs. This year, we're looking at how we can create hope in the in the situations where there's no hope, I do not want to say hopeless, where there's no hope, we try to create hope. We provide maternal and child health. And that is why we want to provide hope in the Gwembozi area, Luka district, as we put up this community health center. We want to create hope as we run for cancer. You have seen what we have done in cancer. We're building bankers. People who do not have where to go to treat cancer are able to go to Nsambia to get treatment. We have created hope by putting up the blood bank, the Rotary blood bank. We are cutting the blood shortage gap. And so we do so many things to create hope. And that is why we're building on this year to create hope. COVID has affected very many people. How can we create hope to those ones who have lost their loved ones? That is the thing, creating hope in everything that we do. And we believe as Rotary, we are going to change the narrative and create lasting change in whatever we do. Absolutely. And you already have, like you've mentioned, with the cancer run, yes. with the blood banks, you already have created we have, change. But we continue to create change, create hope, and create impact in the communities that we touch. Absolutely. Dr. David, you are from Luka District, so we're busy where they're building this health facility. This is your home. Can you talk to us about the issues of maternal health in Luka District? Thank you very much, Jackie. I am from Gwembozi, local district. First of all, we have come up with this initiative with an aim of raising funds for the construction of the health facility. In Gwembozi, for instance, it's a remote village in local district. 
The nearest health facility is 20 kilometers away. That is Kamuri. And even in Kamuri Hospital, there are no major equipments that can address anyone who is experiencing a health problem. We took this initiative as Rotarians to save lives, expectant mothers, not only those ones, but even the general community. We have said over and over that during the time of COVID, this particular area was hit hard. There was lockdown, no movements, people were sick, and no hospital nearby. So, we have launched a fundraising drive with an aim of raising funds to construct health facilities in this particular area. It is a call that Rotarians and everyone, we have appealed to everyone to come on board. And it's the reason why we came up with this dance for the community. Well, dancing is fun. Just look at a situation where the joy of dancing, but while creating a positive impact to save lives in this particular community. Of course, like I said, the aim is to raise funds. But as we raise funds, we are appealing to the attendees not only to contribute at the gate entrance, but even to contribute to voluntarily in any other form, either in the material form like cement, mabati, a timber, so that we can make this happen. This particular event is slated for October 8th at Governor Club in Kampala. Absolutely. Now, Christian, you are a chartered president of the Rotary Club of Muyenga Tank Hill. I want to ask, what exactly does this mean? Charter president. Charter president. Charter. Just like as a word charter, you start something. I had the belief that we could be able to change the world. So from my Rotary Club, which was Muyenga, I was seconded to start a new club. And when you start a new club, you will be the lead, so you'll be a charter president. So I started the club, seconded, and that is where we are, charter, charter presidents. President. And it's only one charter president in any Rotary Club. In any Rotary Club. Yes. So charter president, change maker president. What is the difference between the two? Change maker president. Every year we do have themes. And the year that anybody serves, they are referred to that. So change maker, the year that um, President David served was the year where Rotary had gone out to make change in the world. And our theme was take, making change, create change. Just like we're creating hope now, it was creating change. And our president was Sheikh Ameta, who told us to create change in our communities. So his was create change maker president. This year, the presidents are called hope creator presidents because they're creating hope. Yes, so that's I how understand. it comes up, yes. You know, when, when Rotarians are speaking, they almost yes. speak in a different language. <laughs> totally. It's, it seems like a, like a closed club exactly. that people cannot get mm. in, but it's always wonderful to learn these things yes. so that if somebody's interested in joining mm. Rotary Club of wherever they may be, yes. they understand the basic principles of what it means to be a member. What are the basic principles of being a member the, of the, Rotary? Dr. David, I'll come to you. Well, uh, Rotary is a service organization the basic principles for one to become a member, one must have that strong commitment to serve. To serve while impacting society, like changing society. And as you serve, you do not expect anything in return. It is voluntary. It's not like uh, where you're working right now, and at the end of the day, maybe you'll get some allowance. For us, ours is simply to serve and serve and ensure that we change the community and impact 
positive impact in the community. Two, uh, anyone, a prospective member, should have at least professional and ethical standards like honesty and integrity. Because we see our members, as you try to join, we take you through our norms and of course our behaviors. And of course, we emphasize that don't expect anything in return. We get satisfaction, we drive our satisfaction when the community is happy. Not only that, one must have at least some money to pay. Because as Rotarians, we pay membership fees, which is about $200. $200, that is, uh, according to the current exchange rate, that's about 720,000 Uganda shillings. Is that every month? No, that is yearly. Mm, I see. That is for, for, for Rotarians. Then we have the lower category of the Rotaractors. Those ones pay $100. Now, a prospective member should also possess some leadership skills because as Rotarians, we are always called upon to take leadership roles in our clubs. And the fact that leadership is rotational, every after a year, we change leadership. So you find that everyone will always have a role to play. And there are several, several layers of roles to play. So you find that this entity, we have over 30 people or 20 people running a club for that particular area. Now, when they complete their term, another team takes over. And it's the reason why every year we have a different president, we have a different theme, and we have different members of that particular cabinet. I understand. Now that we understand not just the problem, but also the people who are helping us create positive change, like you've mentioned, let's talk about this fun dance. It's happening at Governor. Can you give us a bit more information? But most importantly, how much are we expecting to raise and where exactly are the funds going to go? We know they're going to Wembozi, but to do exactly what? Wonderful. Thank you so much, Jackie. Uh, we have a very ambitious project. It's a health center for slightly it can transform into a hospital. Now, we segmented it depending on the tailored needs of the community. We have the outpatients, but at the, uh, at the outpatients, we have a wing for the, the, the maternity, because this has been a very big problem in the area. We have already done the foundation, and we're about to start the superstructure. After the superstructure, then we do the roofing. We are estimating that this remaining cost, 14% of the project cost is already done. And the remaining is, uh, that is about 80, 80 what? 86, simple mathematics. So if we could raise at least 700 million, we should be able to complete everything for the first segmented project. And it will be ready for use. Absolutely. Uh, we have tickets at 50,000. But that, 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 that doesn't mean that once you pay the ticket, you can't contribute more. Mm -hmm. It's voluntary. You can add any other fund as you feel like. We have corporate organizations. There is a company called Day Industries, headed by Matthias Magola, has given us 20 million shillings. I have a friend, a personal friend of mine. I've been appealing to him, Henry Mogeni. He has given us 10 million shillings. And this one may not even attend. I have uh, a colleague we work with at uh, the district land board. Nasa Basajabala has given us 5 million shillings. Many people are bringing money. Bahas, uh, Balam, Balam Barugahare given us 3 million shillings. So it is not that if you don't attend the event, you can't contribute. Even you, Jackie. By the end of this show, you can mm -hmm. also give us some contribution, or even management can give us a contribution, Absolutely. because this is a noble cause that we are appealing to everyone of goodwill to come and help this particular community. To come and get involved. When you say 700 million, it's shocking because it sounds like nothing has been done in the area. Has any attempts, have any attempts been done or taken to, to solve the health issue in Wembozi? Say that again. 
have, have any efforts been undertaken to solve the issue? Because 700 million sounds like a lot. Has anything been done before in Lucky District? To solve the problem, like I said, the nearest health facilities, but they're not well equipped. I'm talking about this magnitude of money because we're also looking at the equipments. That is if we're purchasing the equipments. Although, at the Rotary Foundation, if we apply for a grant, we can, if we qualify for a grant, then they can come and equip the facility. But the, just the normal construction will not take all that amount. It may take about, according to the BOCHUS, it may take about uh, 300 million. About 300 yes. million. And so far, 14% of the project cost has been covered. Congratulations. One thing I like about Rotary is every single time you come here, you've always done something first. You don't just ask for help. You help yourselves first, and then you ask others to get involved. As Muyenga Tanke, what other fundraisers have you undertaken? Let's talk about this year. And probably before we go to the other fundraisers, I'll sure. talk about what it is, because as Rotary, we have a vision. And that's why we try to change before we can even do anything. We go out there, we have a vision that enables us to look at creating change in the globe, in our communities, and in ourselves. So that is why we first start and then appeal to others to help us. We have got kill in other projects. We have adopted Chikuba Mutwe. Chikuba Mutwe is a slum area just around Kabalagala. Nobody, as you go through Kabalagala, you cannot believe that so much happens just as you move out like this. But there's so much. We're looking at all the focus areas. We have cleaned them up. We have given them mosquito nets. We have tried to fight malaria. We're trying to assist them in all the areas of focus, which look at maternal and child health, education, economic empowerment, sanitation, water and sanitation, basic literacy, the environment. We have tried to do so much in this area and we're impacting. And not only that, we have also reached out to an area called um, Kabula, Kabul, Kabulada. 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 Where is that? Kabulada is in Gomba district, okay. where we have been able to look at the schools, look at the children, give them education, put up a classroom block. And this year we are focusing on education. So we have done something prior to this, but would like to focus so much on maternal and child health for this year. Absolutely. And we have also done a lot. I was a flagship chair for the maternal and child health last year, and we looked at providing tricycle village ambulances that save mothers and transport them from one area to another as they're getting referrals. And come next Friday, we're going to hand over another 25 tricycle village ambulances to the different communities. And if Gwembuzi was built, we'd be able to hand over one, but not yet. But we are providing transport in that area. We're assigning one to that area. You're doing incredible work, Ms. Christine. Work indeed. Let's talk okay. about Gwembuzi, the health center for. So yeah. far, what has been done at the actual health center? We have secured the land. We have started on the foundation. And we have built up to, is it the wall plate or something? Uh, the entire foundation. The entire the, foundation is done. Slab. And mm. you know the hardest work is within the foundation. That's so that is why we say 14% of the building has been done. In fact, 14% of the completion. Because when you look at the equipment that will go in, will cover the entire 100. But we have done a lot of work and would like to invite people to join us. And I think you'll be able to see what we have done, the work. The launch was done. When you break ground, you can only move forward. And as Rotary, we look at always moving forward. That's why we try to do good in the world. Absolutely. Yeah. Dr. David, let's go back to our fun dance come the 8th of October. What can people expect at Governor on the 8th? We are expecting anyone of goodwill. Remember, it is on the eve of our independence. So as we usher in our independence, we shall also be ushering in a new beginning for the people of Gwembozi to create hope, creating positive hope in the community of Gwembozi that out here, the people are thinking about you, the people are caring about you, and don't lose hope, we are on board, we are coming to help you. The expectant mothers, they generally the entire health system of the area is going to be revamped because of this particular project. 
I can probably add on something. And what to expect that day? There's a lot that we have prepared. We have a band that is going to play, but we also have Cindy, who is joining us to promote this. What better way for you to enjoy as you're dancing for a community, for a, a good cause. Good cause. Good cause. Who are you partnering? Who, what companies have come on board to solve the Wembezi health problem? We do have partners. In Russia, we never work alone because this is a partnership. For this particular one, we are looking at Stan Big Bank that has come in to support. And the CEO, Anjoko, is a member of our Russia Club. Have 10 million. Yes, and they have already contributed 10 million to this particular, just this alone. But they're looking at contributing for the, uh, the equipment as well. So that is one. Centenary Bank. We also have our members there. But Centenary Bank has always partnered with Rotary. And they have come in to support us for this cause. We have NBS. NBS is giving us the visibility. Without NBS, we cannot go far. And that is why we cannot smile in the dark. We are smiling because you've given us the opportunity. So we'd like to thank NBS so they, much. They, we have J they, they JMS group. as well, Jane Medical Stores. The CEO is a um, member, Dr. Bildad Baguma. He's also coming to support. Then we have others. We have Day, he's already mentioned. Day group, the other million. Day group we have. But for this particular one now, for the fundraiser, he has mentioned the ones who have given us. But there's also other people who have come in. We have um, NBS, we have Centenary Bank, we have JMS, we have um, Stanbic Bank, we have Bloom Advocates, we have ProShow because they've given us also visibility. We have, um, yeah, possibly those. Possibly it's wonderful members. to hear so yeah. many big organizations big coming organizations on board. Big organizations have come in. And even individual members. We have also contributed. That's wonderful. Yes. Dr. David, I want to come to you for your last remarks regarding the 8th of October at Governor. Yeah, my call is to the general public. This is a noble cause. We want to save lives. I'm calling upon you as we usher in our independence. Come and we have the joy of dancing while impacting positive change in the community of Wembozi in Luoka. Thank you, Miss Christine. Your call to action to our audience. I would like to invite the Rotarians Rotaractors, friends of Rotary, and everyone who is listening in, and even those ones who are not listening in, to join us on the 8th of October as we fundraise for a noble cause. We would like to shorten or to, to lessen the maternal and child health gap that we have in our community. It's a lot and we cannot do it by ourselves. So we invite you to join us. Even if you cannot dance, please send in something we have the Momo Lines active. We're using FlexiPay for Stanbic. Share that. Yes, we're using the FlexiPay and the Momo um, accounts. I'll share them in a bit. But we'd like everybody to contribute. Every little counts. Every little counts. Every little counts. Well, and I Mother Teresa told us the ocean can never be full with that missing drop. So let everybody bring in a drop so that we can be able to create change Absolutely. in the Gwembezi district. I like what you said about a drop, Dr. David, because most people think that Rotary is for rich people. Mm -hmm. What would you say to that, considering Miss Kristen is saying, come with whatever you well, can? Well, well, uh, it's not that Rotary is for the rich, but it's also for the rich at heart. Ah. You must be rich at heart. Yes. Uh, like I said earlier, we give without expecting anything in return, okay? Now, our satisfaction is when the community that we give, the change that we make in the community is happy. That satisfies us and we feel we have done our part. Absolutely. Well, I want to thank you as part of my closing remarks. You know, every day we sit here and speak to different organizations about how they're helping people. But this is wonderful, not just because you're helping people from afar, but also helping people that are right next to you. Now, I haven't been to Gwembozi, um, but I have been to Kabalagala <laughs> and the areas surrounding yes, Mienga. Yes. And it's actually sad because you move from the leafy, affluent hills of Mienga and you get down to a place where the drainage is poor, the sanitation is poor. So it's wonderful that you're helping your neighbor. And your neighbor is not just the person next to you, Absolutely. but also 
for mm -hmm. people for. Mm -hmm. They say that not everybody can be famous, Martin Luther King said, not everybody can be famous, but everybody can be great because greatness comes from service. And you can, you can serve in your own way by joining Rotary of Muyenga Tank Hill on the 8th at Governor. Or if you would like to join or send a contribution using MomoPay or Airtel Pay, uh, the code for MomoPay is 171832. And the Airtel money code is 435223. So if you're not able to be there individually, and you, and you will share the flexi pair in your social media pages, that's wonderful. If you're not able to make the physical trip, you can still give, you can still serve in your own wonderful way. Well, that's it from myself this morning on Breakfast Meeting. Enjoy your Independence Day weekend. We have so much happening here in Next Media. We are celebrating, loving Uganda, celebrating our culture. So I hope you get, you get a chance to see that if you keep it here at NBS throughout the day. Have a lovely day and a great weekend. Bye-bye. Go Green, in partnership with the Ministry of Energy, invites you to be a part of the 5th SDG Run under the theme Run for Energy Access. Her Excellency Jessica Alupo, the Vice President of the Republic of Uganda, will flag off this epic run on Sunday, 29th October 2023 at Kololo Grounds starting at 7.30 a.m. Register today for the 5km, 10km and 17km run and book your kit at only 20,000 shillings. Call 788 or 0701-030-673. Come run for your SDG. Ready to transform your future in journalism. NBS celebrates its 15th anniversary with the NBS at 50.